Hi, and in today's video, we're going to unpack what it means to be data-driven. There's a lot to talk about being data-driven, but what does it actually mean? So today we're going to separate fact from fluff from fiction. My name is Jesper Lagrain, and I'm an enterprise architect with DXC. I specialize in helping organizations create scale by transforming and making better use of data. And my name is Hai Bo Yang. I'm a principal data architect specialized in modernizing data platforms and analytical solutions to enable organizations with high quality insights and decisions. In part one of this video, we looked at what it means to be data-driven and shared a data-driven framework. In this video, part two, we will expand on that framework and um, share an assessment and approach to become data-driven, share an industry case study of what this means in reality. One common approach is to do a data capability maturity assessment to ascertain the data maturity across the organization. The DXC capability framework aligns to the capability maturity model where we evaluate each capability across five dimensions. These go from unaware to reactive to proactive to anticipatory to optimized. The framework is based on a series of questions around the people, process, and technology dimensions, and the answers aggregate into capability groups. Both capability groups and questions can be tailored. The first two, skills and culture, are people dimensions. They measure data culture, such as general data awareness and the data skills in the organization. The process dimension measures the level of automation and the process for managing and governing data. The last two, insights and access, are technology dimensions. They're used to measure how data is accessed and used to guide an organization. A current state assessment is a common starting point and might yield results like these. An initial goal might be to bring all maturity levels up to three. The maturity rating give a good indication of what steps to take next and in what order. In this case, an immediate focus on data governance is needed as data governance play a major role in data quality. This was an example of how to use the capability maturity framework to understand the current level of data capability, the desired level of data capability, the gaps in data capability, and the roadmap for addressing it. So what have other organizations done to become data-driven? A good example of an organization becoming data-driven in the aged care industry starts from a people dimension. The aged care facility has proactively established a data governance team with dedicated master data administrators. They have the right skills to align reference data and ensure consistent medical standards or conventions are applied. With the appointment of data owners and stewards, key business entities such as service users, providers, medical products and equipment all have golden records with total accuracy. Such a data-driven culture also ensures staff members are trained and incentivized to make evidence-based decisions according to a quality data analysis instead of uh, unreliable memories. On the process dimension, all care service data, decisions, and controls are traceable and auditable with well-defined responsibilities and accountabilities. Furthermore, through the implementation of AI-powered video analytics, automated alerts and notifications are sent out to ensure rapid responses to situations such as unstable motions, antisocial behaviors, and absconding. Personalized care are provided based on preference, behavioral patterns, to adjust medication schedules to reduce anxiety, as well as to improve activity plans to minimize boredom. Staff allocation is optimized based on service users' activity patterns, time and space, and mobility requirements. All this cannot be achieved without the technology dimension. The adoption of appropriate hardware and software systems, such as AI-powered surveillance cameras, video analytics, CRM, and HR systems, which can generate real-time insights, 
and enable direct access for caregivers and managers to make informed decisions. We hope you have enjoyed this video on becoming data-driven and we hope to see you in our next video. Take care until then.